All right, we're back. Uh, so I had to take my good old intake manifold off because when I was putting it on before inspection, I ended up stripping the uh, another M6 bolt. <laughs> Turn this light on. There you go, which is right there. Uh, that one in the corner, right in the center of the frame. So too easy. Little quick heel cool job, good to go. Um, but we're here today because I'm addressing another issue. Uh, apparently I have an oil leak. Now, all this fluid here, I'm kind of on the fence. Because when I originally took these heads off, obviously, like, I took a vacuum pump and I tried to clean this out as much as possible. Um, little hand vacuum pump, whatever. But when I disconnected it, obviously oil went everywhere. So I remember trying to sop it up and clean it up. But, uh, uh. And so I'm wondering if this is just residual, because it's not really highly pooled anywhere. And the oil that's all underneath my damn car. Yeah. Uh, it went all the way back there and shit. Um, but it was all, excuse me, fuck. It was all along this pipe, you know, all along this oil pan. All around there. Can't really tell where the fuck it's coming from. But. You can see up there. There's oil. Uh, you can see here in the stump mount bracket. There's oil. Uh, and if I go over here. Wait, 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 wait. You can see here that my good old alternator is covered in oil, but then again, I did have the heads off, so <laughs> it doesn't look like any real new oils running down it. So, could it be my oil cooler? Eh? Doesn't look like it. Does not look like it's my oil cooler. Hell, even my fucking oil drain in return right there isn't leaking. So, uh... Because if it was my oil cooler, it would be all up on top of this bitch. I don't see that. <clears throat> Let's see, I got some oil up there. On the fucking head gas, he did stick it out. Uh, the rest of this is fairly dry. Uh, let's see. You can look up. Oh, focus. There we go. You can look up in there. Oh, focus. Focus. There we go. There's a little bit of oil there. Sorry for my breathing, guys. I kind of have a chest cold. It is not Corona. <clears throat> then again, I, I think I always breathe like this. <laughs> so yeah, I got I got oils. I got oils, gents, and it looks like it's all kind of starting around this area. So I was like, well, maybe, maybe it's the fucking rear main seal. But you can look up there. Focus. Uh, it's really hard to say if it's the rear main seal because you would see oil all up and down that shit. It would be slung kind of everywhere, but it seems like it's only on this one side. Get my old ass up. Alright. So, where is it? We're now four minutes into this video and I haven't said shit. <laughs> So, let's take this out of the way. Alright, so I'm thinking, because there, well, I got some coolant from disconnecting shit, but, alright, because there's oil down there, and then it looks like, see if I can get the focus, there you go, it looks like it wants down there, below whatever this fucking nub is, let's see if I can get this stupid harness out of the way. It's 
stupid harness. Move out of my way. There we go. So, so we're down here. And it looks like it's wet going down this way. It's dry going down this way. So, and then... The other thing that I have the ability to do here is to actually I put my I put my hands down there behind the pulley and the back of the pulley is dry. Um, the pulley actually sits back some, so I would and it's bolted to the damn crankshaft. So I would think if the front main was leaking, it would run onto the crankshaft pulley and sling all around, and my belt would be wet and everything would be fucking wet. But it's not the case. So, I'm thinking that it's my valley cover. And I don't remember the last time I had this off. Um, <sighs> this fucker, the oil return, or excuse me, oil filter housing was leaking there. Um, after the first motor build. Uh, well, the only motor build. <clears throat> I noticed that once I uh, once I got the intake off for pulling the heads and shit like that, following my misshift. So now I'm mm -hmm. like, well, where the fuck's all this oil coming from? You know, I don't know. Uh, so I'm gonna retorque these fucking belly pan bolts. Uh, if I put my hand behind here, it's Focus, focus, focus. No, fuck me. No focusing. Okay. But anyway, it's dry. There we go. Now it's focused. All right. Same on the other side, except for some coolant that I got there. All right. Fucking dry. So I don't know where that fucking oil is coming from, except from the valley pan, unless I really do have a front main with seal leak, and uh, <laughs> that's my problem. Cause the valve cover's dry, homie. All that shit was replaced. This was just done. The, this guy was replaced. I I don't remember if I took this off to inspect the valley pan. I don't think I did. I think I left it. So the valley pan, the head gaskets, and the oil filter flange were replaced with the heads. Like the, the valve cover gasket, the head gasket, take my full gasket, exhaust my full gasket. All that was replaced with the heads. Recently, there's only like 200 miles on this shit. The valley pan, the front main seal, were replaced 15,000 miles ago with the engine build. And since then, it's 15,000 miles with multiple pulls on a dyno. So, uh, no issues. So now, all of a sudden, I have an oil leak? That doesn't make sense. So, I'm gonna have to clean shit off drive around a little bit and try and figure out where the fuck it's coming from. Uh, well, that's where we're at, guys. Focus. There we go. I'm out for now.